All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this, your boy, love on the hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this shit. Now, okay, I recently got some updated news from Alexander Yusick and his team. Alexander Yusick, a lot of people out there may feel like Alexander Yusick may not want no smoke with Deontay Wilder. He probably have or had a change of tune after seeing Wilder come back with a vicious, devastating knockout over Robert Hellenius. I know a lot of people lie to themselves and say, oh, anybody could have knocked out Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius don't have a chin. But you guys, whenever you are putting guys out like that in the first round, and keep in mind, Robert Hellenius has been there with punchers, Dillian White, Derek Kazora. Yeah, he got caught by Gerald Washington, but this is a heavyweight division. Anybody can be caught. But anytime someone hits the deck like that, you're going to be concerned. Now, don't get me wrong. I listen to music. He did say he was going to attend the Deontay Wilder fight. And I was looking forward to that along with Deontay Wilder. But one thing about me, I will give a person the benefit of the doubt, especially when it comes down to a certain scenario. Now, let me get deep. Alexander Yusik, you know, he's still going through some things in Russia. I don't know if the war is minimized or has it minimized or has it even maximized, you know? But he wasn't even supposed to fight Anthony Joshua. I think that was kind of a force just to make the fight happen contractually and shit like that. So I'm going to give Alexander Yusik the benefit of the doubt. Don't get it twisted. I could be entirely wrong. All of a sudden, music could have showed up, whatever. But the fact he didn't show up to the fight, I'm not going to be too hard on him for that, you know? But I don't get it twisted. I do feel like if he really wanted that fight, he could have showed up. It's still a massive fight. In fact, it could be more massive than Tyson Fury. But from what I'm hearing from Team Usyk, they're actually going after Tyson Fury early 2023. Because I don't feel like he's going to fight Deontay Wilder this year and risk an undisputed match with Tyson Fury. Maybe Alexander Usyk is going for the kill and saying, you know what, I'm going to go after Tyson Fury. Then we'll get back to Deontay Wilder. Because keep in mind, Deontay Wilder didn't take no punishment. He knocked his opponent out in the first round, right? So he really don't need much time for his next fight. Alexander Yusik, even though he clearly beat Joshua, he basically dominated him. That was still a tough fight. You know, he took some good shots from Anthony Joshua in that fight. And, you know, when you have fights like that, there's nothing wrong with taking a little break. You know, if that make any sense. But... With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say this about Allison and Yusick, man. As badly as I want to see this fight as a passionate boxing fan, I really want to see this fight next. I think this fight can happen next. Because there's no telling what Tyson Fury is going to do and what his mind is on. You know, one minute Tyson Fury wants to retire. Next minute, he's calling out Yusick for Undisputed. Should the man even talk about a Deontay Wilder four fight because that's still a massive fight. I know people will lie to themselves and say, "Oh, Tyson Fury will easily beat Wilder and all this shit." Man, listen, that's no easy fight. Still a tough fight for Tyson Fury, and it won't shock nobody if Deontay Wilder finally knocks his ass out in the fourth fight. But a lot of the times, we got to put ourselves in other people's shoes, you know. And me putting myself in Alexander Yusick's shoes. He's not really gaining nothing off Deontay Wilder right now. Except a massive payday. And more fans, right? Because Deontay Wilder do have a big fan base now. You guys can't say he's not a known heavyweight. Nobody know who he is. Shit, Yusick would probably get a bigger payday off of Deontay Wilder than Tyson Fury. But Yusick 
seems like a guy that's more dedicated to his craft as far as belts is concerned and legacy is, is concerned. Not saying Deontay Wilder is not a massive win because it is, but the more bigger win is Tyson Fury. And that's undisputed. You could retire the Tyson Fury. He do not have to face Deontay Wilder. In fact, it probably won't even be in his best interest to face Deontay Wilder. You know? It's just a big fucking risk. But the only reason why a lot of people was having a little problem with Usyk right now is because he said he wants the Deontay Wilder fight. He said he'll be easy, you know. He said, you know, basically Deontay Wilder be a cakewalk. And we would love to see it. And we know that it wouldn't surprise none of us if Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk was a snooze fest. It just wouldn't. Um, like I told you guys before. Don't lie to yourself. Outside of Wilder, Tyson Fury is in boring fights. It is what it is. Now, Yusek, on the other hand, is in good fights. But look who he's going to fight. Tyson Fury. I mean, you can lie to yourself and say, oh, man, that's not true. I like the White versus um, Fury fight. I like the Fury versus um, Otto Wilder fight. Not saying those weren't good fights, but come on, man. I ain't fucking with no Deontay Wilder fight, so I hope the fight happen next, y'all. I just can't see it. 